The future of the print industry, it's the key subject on the 10th day of Drupa Cube. The main focal point of consultants is the so-called printed electronics. Whether it's solar cells, RFID chips, OLEDs or even batteries, all this can now be produced extremely efficiently thanks to the new roll-to-roll -roll printing processes. Today we are using this technique to create very thin, very high resolution structures. Resolutions can be achieved even below 10 microns. We can superimpose very thin structures and layers ranging from nanometer to micrometer sizes. Despite modern technology, it will still take a while until printed electronics will be mass produced. A roadmap set out by the Organic Electronics Association shows the development status of different production processes as well as the future facing the electronic printing industry. It is of course the case that printed electronics will not be on their own in the market. There are also conventional electronics. In practice that means slimline light sources will have to compete against LEDs or slimline batteries will have to compete against button batteries which can be created inexpensively. When it comes to building flexible components that are extremely thin, electronic printing will clearly have an advantage and will gain more and more of the market shares. Scenes we know from science fiction and fantasy films are not very far away in reality. I don't think they will look like the newspapers that we are used to from the past. But if we look at the e-reader, for instance, they are becoming increasingly easier to read and cheaper. I think that newspapers will follow suit with moving images being the next step. I think we are only two to three years away from that.